Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Feel good about yourself. Ladies, look, you know the biggest problem I see with a lot of women, and maybe I don't, you know, I know this is inherent, but you still got to fight it anyway. Many of y'all don't feel good about yourself. Seriously. Many of y'all don't feel good about yourself. Because I know y'all rough on yourselves. Because, you know, men are getting to the point, yeah, I ain't tall. I don't got that square jaw. Shoot, y'all been done past all that. Y'all been like that always and stuff, you know, because ladies I already know. Because if y'all felt good about yourselves, uh, uh, the makeup industry wouldn't be a billion dollar industry, like an industry where like 20 olds can like become a billionaires and stuff just from some products. Can have one product and become a billionaire and stuff, you know, or at least a millionaire. That's That's like bare minimum. You know, because we know this whole industry is just so you can feel good about yourself. You know, the whole makeup industry so you can look good. The hair industry, even the shoe industry and everything. So I understand that. I understand your nature. And I also, and look, I understand that is a part of a man's thing to make y'all comfortable and everything. But you know what? You got to feel good about yourself. Because I'm going to tell you why. When women don't feel good about themselves, when they don't feel good about how they look, well, or, you know, um, you know, what they got going on, they feel bad. I'm going to use an example. Now, y'all know this channel is well, primarily for women. And I got to always remind the guys of that. They be talking, be talking about their problems. I say, dude, this, the channel says, hello, ladies, you know. But, you know, even though it's for all women, regardless of race, and I got all types, I'm going to talk about something that really affects the uh black community in particular. There are a lot of like beautiful chocolate sisters who got low self-esteem because, well, one, we in this we we're in a culture that promotes a type of woman that even most white women don't <laughs> don't reach for. You know, they can't reach. Cause the average woman in this society is um uh, doesn't have blue eyes, doesn't have naturally blonde hair and everything, and is five foot four and slightly overweight, the average. So even in this society, but if if the white women can't reach that standard, that slim standard, I actually knew a woman who was legitimately blonde, blue eyes, slim body and everything. Real sweet though, real sweet, right? And these other white women hated her. But I'm talking about like chocolate sisters, and this ain't just on Chocolate Sisters, just to be clear, but just, you know, as a great example, don't feel good about themselves because they don't reach that artificial ideal. And I'm going to say it's artificial because every culture got a different thing what they consider beautiful, right? But you get some sisters, I mean, beautiful sisters, Chocolate Sisters, and they, they feeling bad or they feel like no one wants them because of their complexion. And to me, it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing, right? It's a sad thing because it's like, wait a minute, you got this beautiful complexion that when you about 80, probably won't have a wrinkle. Like my grandmother had, uh, she had chocolate skin, and when she died at the age of 84, she didn't have any wrinkles. <laughs> That's how deep it was. Her skin was as smooth as it was when she was a child. Right. But see, a lot of women don't understand that. Now, this ain't just about that, but that's just a great example. You know, but you got women up here like uh, like I was saying about white women. Very few women are naturally blonde. And, you know, very few got that naturally killer body or those big breast assists, you know, because, you know, you got plastic surgery and stuff. The biggest thing is breast reduction. And I mean, breast enhancement. And then you got uh, rhinoplasty where, you know, primarily women, but some men as well, but primarily women are changing the shape of their nose. And that, that goes across races. And even in Asia, right, even in Asia, you got a lot of women doing um, 
you know, some um I forgot the I forgot the exact term for the surgery, but it was on their eyelids and stuff to make their eyes look more European. So they don't feel good about themselves. You know? They don't feel good. In fact I knew this Korean woman that I was close to, a uh, young lady, she used to wear color contacts and I'd say, Why are you wearing those contacts? You look beautiful. Your eyes are beautiful. So when she was around me, she, she didn't wear those contacts, right? But she didn't feel good about herself. And I see this with a lot of women. Ladies, I'm going to tell you what. You may not be a rose. But, and you know, the rose is held up as so beautiful and everything. But an orchid is just as beautiful. Or maybe just a regular flower is beautiful. Shoot, dandelions look good if you think about it. You know? Anything could look, look, every single one of you has a beauty within you. Every single one of you. You know, you can't compete. Look, you, you can't compete with it. I don't care what you got, you know. I don't care what you got on. You might think it's a bad thing, but you never know what it's going to draw. I'll use my co-parent for an example. We got two sons now because she has some fat thighs, <laughs> And she didn't like him. She actually said she she didn't really like him, couldn't figure out why she had him. Oh, Rom lost his mind. Two babies. <laughs> Look, whatever you got, you got to feel good about yourself, okay? And just being within reason. You know, it don't mean you got to be that tight body, but you, you still want to be the best version of your body, but somebody probably like it. And this ain't saying, oh, yeah, just be all out of shape and everything, because that's a health issue. They'll forget Forget everybody else. That's just a health issue. You want to be as healthy as possible, but you want to be the best for you, you know? And you want to feel good about it. You want to feel good about your nose shape. You want to feel good about your complexion. Like, let me use that chocolate sister thing, for example, again. Every single woman I've known with that skin, that skin complexion, talking about colorism and stuff, I'm like, yeah, but you really, they really do be getting older and they don't have as many problems. And I've seen women who may not have had that being wrinkled up in their 30s. So that's something good. Everybody, look, every single person got something good about them. Focus on the good in you. Look at it as good. Don't get caught up in what culture says. Culture says. Culture, look, I'm going to use myself as an, as an example. I'm going to use myself as a man, as an example. What the culture says is the ideal man and the one that's going to get the women. I don't look like that person. I'm a big old stocky dude. You know, I'm a big old stocky dude. You know, big old stocky, you know, look like no model. Shoot. I don't look like no model at all. Yet, I don't have problems getting women. You know what? I feel good about myself. And plus, I focus on the women who like what I got to present. Now, ladies, the thing with you is, I don't care what you got. Somebody likes you. Focus on that. Focus on what you're going to do in life. Love yourself. Because, ladies, when you don't love yourself, that messes you up. Seriously, I've known, I've known too many women of all races they don't love themselves, and they just get into some jacked-up situations, get into jacked-up marriages because they didn't love themselves, so they just accepted just whatever guy came along. You know, abusive relationships because they didn't love themselves. They just accepted what came down, you know, or they followed the crowd something, you know. You got to love yourself, all right, more than anything else. That. Get all that other stuff. Feel good about yourself. Once you feel good about yourself, then you're going to find everything around you going to change. When, uh, women who feel good about yourself, their selves, you know, find good men. In fact, I'm going to get into that uh, in the next podcast, you know, because they, had, they all had something, right? But they felt good about themselves, you know? So feel good about yourself. It's powerful. If you're trying to get a man... I know y'all trying to get a man, whatever type of man you're trying to get. You got to feel good about yourself before anything else, okay, ladies? So, anyway, I want you to think on what I'm saying. I'm serious, and I'm dead serious, too. Because I'm going to tell you from a personal perspective, one of the most frustrating things I've had with women were women I was definitely interested in, but they didn't feel good about themselves. I mean, they were gorgeous, beautiful, had stuff going on, but they didn't feel good about themselves. And that's been a frustration for me. 
I'm thinking to myself, and I knew it wasn't just like, oh, they just didn't like me. They just, they had trouble with men, period. And I'm like, you're gorgeous, though. You know, men thinking of sitting around saying, she's gorgeous. What? And she's gorgeous and she's nice. But that one thing about not feeling good about themselves was a killer. All right? So, anyway, ladies, that's all I got for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.